I'm going to take a few measurements so you can buy the PVC elbow and fitting at your local hardware store. The exterior diameter is two and a quarter inch, which fits my dust collection port. I will also include the metric reading for each measurement by pressing that button. The rest of the readings aren't as important. However, you can use these measurement readings to build your own hose or have it fully customized to your needs. PVC pipes are universal and always available at Home Depot. Please like and subscribe. I have more videos coming soon. It captured most of the sawdust. And of course we have some sawdust here because of the position of the blade. Otherwise, it stayed pretty clean around the saw. We can see there's a little bit of opening in that box that contained the saw. So it's inevitable that we have sawdust here and a little bit on top. And we can further improve this setup by attaching a plastic bag here. Let's see how that works. Nothing fancy, just a plastic bag over the hood. So this is the piece I'm cutting, basically an inch groove into this um, picture frame joint. And let's take a look. Not too bad. And uh, we don't see lots of sawdust on the ground. And again, not much on the table, but we do have something on the side, perhaps another plastic or some sort of box design can be used here to capture more sawdust. Now let's remove it and see what's inside. Any clock? Not much. It's actually all pushed out. Yeah, this is uh, definitely something you can make easily without any tools. Just buy these two parts from Home Depot and you're good to go. If you're like me with limited space, no powerful vacuum system to be attached to your table saw, then this is a fantastic solution. Cutting something without this adapter and see what happens. And 
this is what happens. Cutting with that, le that little dust collecting adapter. I do not have a solution for the right side yet, but this is much better than without this adapter. As you can see, we collected lots of sawdust. And we don't have much dust on the ground. So this is an extremely simple solution.